We farm, you know, anywhere between 15 and 17,000 acres. Corn, cotton, soybeans, milo every so often and stuff. But um, depending on price, you know, commodity prices, and, um, and we're able to plant what we want to, where we want to. We don't have landlords, you know, dictating what we plant and that kind of stuff. So that makes it easier to farm around and you know, rotate crops and stuff. Yeah, we grew up working. We, we were running, up. running a spray rig at an early age, and I can remember being on the high boy, and I would drive in the high boy what nine. Uh, you was t you had to stretch I out like that to push on the clutch. clutch, and I'm up on the front of it trying to spray. They were spot stuff. spraying Johnson grass. And he's and up there trying it to just, ride it. Right. We had a couple of arguments out there, but I, <laughs> it was all fun. I mean, it's always a, some kind of challenge, and it's been that way. Of course, my dad, I remember him saying, we got a picker. I couldn't even get a picker the first year. Finally got a picker right there at the end, and that was in 1973 or four, whatever yeah. year it was. I mean, you're still fighting the same thing today. It's always something that's a challenge out there. Of course, maybe I make a, a mountain out of mohill on challenges, but it, it just gripes me to have so many challenges, it seems like, but it keeps me getting up every day. You grow more appreciative of what he was able to do for you as a kid, seeing the hours he works, how hard he works, how passionate about it, because it's, he's doing it for his family, and, and that's what, it, it, it just, it means the world. My dad would come pick me up all the time. We'd go ride and help him irrigate when I was little, or they could be picking cotton just right across the road. And then I kind of, I kind of always worked on the farm. I just, I, he was, he was a lot better at sports than I was, <laughs> and so I did a lot of working on the farm, and I've always, done it forever every summer I'd come back from spring break in college and I'd come back and I'd go to work and it's just something I've always done I've always wanted to do never thought of doing anything else but farming which is all I've ever done it wasn't like us we, they didn't start when they were five and six years old either but things are just different I mean it just really is but they've been working out here when we needed them you know a long time yeah. I can't even tell you how long what year they actually started working as far as just getting pickups moved and driving a grain cart here and stuff like that but is and it's great having them here very refreshing to see a see their faces in the morning when you come to work and stuff and it's just because yeah, they're happy to be here yes I mean I was on the combine of the other day and Dusty was on the other combine and, and that the two boys were driving trucks and stuff and I was like hey this is it's pretty nice it is it's cool to know that hey my grandpa bought this farm in the 70s and basically rebuilt that house then my dad and uncle grew up in the house and then now I'm raising my own son in the house. It's, it's cool. <laughs> so I guess once it's in your blood, it's kind of always in your blood, kind of. 